Hello, this is Lisa Shea of lisashea.com and this is how to do a cholesterol test. I'm doing it with a cardio check device. You buy panels for it and they come with the little test strips that you put in the device and a memo chip so that it knows what the expiration date of this test chip is. So you start by sticking the test chip into the machine and turning it on. It tells you what its version is, what the date is, what the time is, and what the code is so that you can be sure you're using the correct code to go with it. Right, it's ready to stick the test strip in. The test strip needs blood. So to get the blood ready, you open up your lancet, you take one of the little disposable lancet pieces, you take off the top, and stick it into the machine. So that's the pointy bit that's going to make the blood come out of you. Screw it back on, and then you pull this out, to prime the spring. So all you do is stick your finger on there, push the button, and that makes a hole in your finger, a drop of blood. You want this drop of blood to fill the whole little thing like that, and you stick it into the device. It says apply sample, then it says testing. And now we're just going to sit here for a few minutes while it figures out what the cholesterol reading is. So you can use the same lancet, you just pull it out again and it reprimes it to stab you another time if you want to. Or if you want to use it on another person, you probably want to take this out and put a new one in for them so that you don't get your blood contaminated with someone else's blood. But if it's just you, you can keep using the same lancet, probably clean it. These things come in three or six packs usually. I tend to get six packs. They do have an expiration date, so you want to check the box and make sure that they expire within a range when you're going to use them, or if you use them very infrequently, just get a three pack or talk to your friends and family and do tests for them too, so that you have a good use for them. It's still testing. It has a little spinning dial on it to tell you that it's doing the testing process. For cholesterol, your aim is to get under 200 lower is better. If you get higher than 200, they start to say that the number is too high and that you should bring it down through healthy diet. And they of course have medication if you need to have medication affected. Maybe I should edit this part out. <laughs> Although this shows how long the testing process works, I suppose that's a valuable thing. Let's see, what does the documentation say about testing? Good. Should be below 200 is desirable, 200 to 239 is borderline to high, and over 240 is high. Mine says 187, so that's my current cholesterol level. So it's under 200, which is desirable. There you go. Visit lisashay.com for more information.